Hello everybody, this is Detecting Daddy from Boston, Massachusetts, and we're going to be working on a ninth nickel box of 2019. Today is March 13th, it is a Wednesday, and uh, I've already checked out this box, obviously you can see it is nicely circulated. You did see a Canadian Ender in there, as well as uh, 1950s. Other than that, I didn't see anything obvious, uh, but there are some very old looking coins in there, so I'll be back with my next find. Okay, everybody, we're on roll number five and have our first find of the box. I've absolutely got nothing so far. It's a nice one, 1947. Let's see what we got from Mint Mark. 1947, Philadelphia. That's our first coin of the box. Let's hope there's a lot more. On to the next. Okay, everybody, we're on roll number nine, and look what we got here. That is none other than a 1943 silver war nickel with the big Philadelphia mint mark. All right, that makes me happy as this box has been very slow. That is literally the second coin out of the box so far, but I'm very happy to have it. Hopefully it has some friends. On to the next. Okay, everybody, we're on roll number 11, and I just found a Canadian not I usually show, but it is one I need for my collection. A 1993, so for me, that's a good find. On to the next. Okay, everybody, we're on roll 16 right now. Um, the only thing I found, other than since I'm Canadian, I do have two BUs over here. One's an 84, the other one's a 64. For me to pull out a 64, it must be in really good condition. I think it is. Uh, but right now, I just found a nice early Jefferson. Take a look at this. 1939. Does it have a mint mark? No. Oh well, on to the next. Okay, buddy, I just finished rule 25, and you can call this a half wrap. Um, as it's been a while, as you can see, I have not got much. Uh, a couple 59s, a 39, the 47 and 43, two Canadians, one that's going to go in the collection, and two... AU to BU looking coins. That is it thus far. I will be back hopefully sooner rather than later with the next. Okay, everybody, we are on roll 34, and I just got my fourth 40s nickel of the box. Take a look here. 1949, Denver. All right, on to the next. Okay, everybody, we're on roll 36, and we got a nice early 1940 Jefferson. I haven't looked in the back yet for a mint mark, so let's take a look. Let's see what we got. Just Philadelphia. It's all right, third year Jefferson. We'll take it. On to the next. Okay, everybody, on roll 37, I just came across this rather interesting coin. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see it. I can't tell if that's post-mint damage or possibly it was minted like this. Show it to you on the microscope here so you can get a better view of it. I don't see much damage, but it does have that extra... Eh. Nope, that is actually, I believe, that is a mint error, but looking at it now, this is pretty cool. Give me your thoughts on it. Oh, there we go again with the screen. Ah, I love when that happens. My computer loves me. I believe that actually is a mint error. Let me know your thoughts. On to the next. Okay, everybody, on roll 40, and I just found the Canadian Ender that I mentioned before. Let's see what it is. Okay, roll is laid out. Let's take a look. And we have ourselves a 1987. All right, on to the next. Okay, everybody, we're on roll 48, and I just came across the second one of these in the box. And it is a 1939. In really nice shape. Does have some marks on it, but much better than the other one. Let's take a look for a mint mark. 1939 Philadelphia, second year Jefferson. Two in the box. Alright, on to the next. Okay, buddy, roll 49, and seems like this box wants to go out with a bang. Check this out. Very next roll. Got another one. 1939. Let's take a look, see if we got a mint mark. No, we do not. That's pretty cool. 339's in the box. Let's see what else we got left. If nothing else is there, I'll see you at the wrap up. 
Okay, everybody, this box is over, but the fines are not yet. This was the second to last coin in this box, and look at this. Can you guess what year that might be? Look at this. A 1947 in just beautiful condition. Now that made this hunt worth it. Let's take a look for a mint mark. 1947 Denver in just beautiful condition. There wasn't a whole heck of a lot of finds. There was, what, a total of five 40s, one being a silver, 339s, uh, 850s, four Canadians. The one, I believe, is a die era. A couple of BU-looking coins, and that is it. I'll be back with the wrap-up in just a minute. Okay, everybody, here is the wrap-up. We had three... 1939s, a 1940, a 43p silver war nickel, a 47, and what I would say is a high AU, possible BU, 1947D Jefferson, then a 49D, a 53, 53D, 54D, 57D, 58, 58D, which is actually <clears throat> just above 17 million, uh, it'd be kind of a low mintage coin there. 59D. Then on the Canadians, I had four of those. Uh, 1985, 87, 88, 93. The 85 is going to be going to my collection. And then I have the other one there that has a little bit of extra metal on it. <clears throat> a possible arrow. I'll be looking into that more. Um, overall, this box actually scored 62 points. I didn't write that down. Um, not amazingly well. It started off really slow. The first half of the box, I think I almost fell asleep. It was so exciting. But still, uh, a lot of great finds. Uh, I mean, like, look at that 47. It just jumps out at you. I got silver. I got a possible era. I got a bunch of Canadians. All in all, not a bad box. Well, until next time, happy hunting.